to Blind Owl Outdoors. All right, we're continuing our question and comment videos. It's still October 6th. And we'll start out with a question from Amazing Philippines. Again, check out his channel over there. He lives in Cebu. Real nice guy. Got a lot of nice videos. Mm -hmm. And we left off talking about chicken. We'll start talking about chicken. He said, I'm quoted 180 pesos all the time for a fully cooked chicken at the stands in Cebu City. I also had a lady quote me 300 pesos for some skitty native chickens. The foreigner price, he says he thinks. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the going rate, though. Uh, they used to be 150 pesos here. Um, Steel Horse, Steel Horses 2004, he says... That's about what a grocery store rotisserie chicken costs. Now, Steel Horses 2004, that's another nice person back home. Mm -hmm. He sent us another keyboard for the church. Mm -hmm. And I talked to Pastor Tim about it. And Pastor Tim said, maybe we should just put it away and give it to Shannon for her birthday on November 3rd. And uh, I said, it's a pretty good idea. I asked, I asked Steel Horses... 2004 if that'd be okay and, and uh, they said that'd be fine and uh, so we're going to try to do that uh, he's also sending some other things to us and when we get those we're going to do some uh, product reviews and testing on them for him pretty cool huh thanks yes. special thanks to them thank you so much yeah. still so a lot of, lot of so. Oh, in fact the next the next email is from him saying that it's okay with him and she yeah, he also asked does she play any other instruments now no, not really. Um, she she plays a mean tambourine, but that's not really an instrument. She shakes that real well. Um, I don't I don't know. No, she, has, uh, she I think she's interested in, interested in the guitar. I think, but we haven't had a chance to teach her anything like that. But uh, maybe someday we'll get to it. It's another solar camera. <laughs> okay. There's, we're, we must be in the chicken section, huh? Here's a message from Doug Christensen. He said he'll take two. He's a big eater. Plus, I'm guessing they were not full antibiotics. Yummy. Well, I think you're wrong there, Doug. All the ones in the rotisserie places and the grocery stores, most of those are just pumped full antibiotics from the growers. And that's why I can't eat them. They make me sicker than a dog. Um, you're probably going to need two because they are only about two pounders. They're pretty small. And uh, the the legs on them are the the drumsticks are only about that big around. They're really small compared to something that you're eating back in the states. But they're good though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Really good. very good. Yeah. Cool. And it saves you from cooking them too, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A Bible for Diane and a walk through Brian's. Uh, Daniel Edwards says it looks like a permaculture forest in the making. I encourage you to also try that. My dream to be near the ocean or lake and grow permaculture style with the Earthship style home and a few pigs for keeps on going. Um, yeah, I'd like the permaculture way is really good. You know, very nat very natural. A uh, lot like composting and stuff like that. And an Earthship would be fantastic. I, I wish I could find the supplies for that stuff here. Uh, my goal when I first got here was to build uh, a Corbell dome out of uh, sandbags and then concrete it uh, but I couldn't find any supply of bags here at all so uh, we never really went that far on it but uh, it sure would be nice something like that's a hundred percent typhoon proof proof I don't know how they are in earthquakes but very good for for typhoons what do we got here <laughs> Warren Warren Peterson He's commenting on the 925 questions, and he he's giving us a little joke about life, I guess. He said, Dan, 
Life is like a black girl's left leg. Never right, but always left. Such is life. Nobody is perfect. Why do you get upset about the negative comments? I'm not always, and it goes on. Yeah, we're, we're working on the negative comments. I'm, I'm easily easily set off, so um, I have what I think we could call a reactive personality, <laughs> to say the least. Um, but I'm pretty good at I'm pretty good at judging idiots and stuff. If, if an idiot tells tells me a comment, I just laugh it off. If someone's in my face about something, I I, I usually take it bad. Uh, but I like I like your little joke. And uh, life is way too short to take it so serious, right? Right? Wait, gonna sneeze or cough or something or what? Like fall asleep maybe? Oh, yawn. Oh, okay. All right. Um. Special guest with Rod, Primitive Fire. Gerald Dedon says, good show. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with Rod. Here's another one with Rod. Very nice video. Rod was struggling with that a bit. But with practice, he'll get the feel for where the embers are, where he needs oxygen for a faster start. That's very correct. And um, I don't know if you noticed, right towards the end where Rod was, was doing, I kept asking him, are you, are you out of air? Or out of air because I had a, had a, a, a way to make it much easier for him, but he was he was going on. I didn't I didn't want to stop his momentum, you know. Wait, want to go take a nap or something, huh? Or what? No. You must be pretty you, you must be pretty bored. Maybe you better read a few of these, huh? No, I just... Oh, this is you're, you're putting the viewers asleep here, you think so? Okay, but Rod Rod did a fantastic job. He tried real hard. Um, next time we're going to perfect the the bow drill, which is much much harder, and. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's not easy, then. It's not easy at all. Another one with Rod, special guest, very good, from Bernard Bredhauer. Another one, special guest with Rod, Colin in Thailand, very good, I like it. Roast chicken from, <laughs> from the Senor Pedro. Nomadic in Philippines says what? Manuk is the best. That's right. What's a manuk? Chicken. Some people don't know that. Chicken. Chicken is, is, is the Visayan word for chicken is manuk. What's the Visayan word for a pig? Baboy. Baboy. <laughs> Gerald Dedon, you're doing a great job. I wish I had a daughter like you. Oh. Well, come over here and find a nice lady. You could probably have one. Uh, Bernard Bredauer asks, uh, this is the uh, tour of Talibun he's talking about, how far, how far from that city is your house, nice blog mate. So he must be from England or Australia. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, Talibun is not really a city, it's more of a town, but we're probably about uh, 15 to 20 minutes away, not, not too far. Another one about Rod, nomadic in the Philippines. Good stuff, guys. Would be cool to come for a visit if I'm ever back in Bohol. Yeah, if you're ever back in Bohol, feel free to come by for a visit. We have classes all the time, and uh, happy to have you. More with Rod. Oh, get a paper or something flat to fan it. Well, that wasn't the object of the, of the test. We weren't going to fan it. This was a, a get an ember and blow it into a fire test. Um, and we don't use a piece of paper or something flat. If we're going to fan a fan, fan a fire, we use uh, like a Chinese or a Japanese hand fan. That works the best. Or what I use for charcoal and things like that, I have a piece of bamboo where I knock the centers out and I use the bamboo as a straw. That works fantastic to localize the air source and get your face away from the heat. That's your that's your bushcraft tip of the day. <laughs> uh let's see. Colin in Thailand bought the nine twenty five question and comments. Another great question and comment comments. Well done. Thanks Colin. Question and comments again. Hmm. Kenny Rains you. Nice and loud. You're doing great. 
with your family over there. Don't let the naysayers. Naysayers. That means people that are saying negative things to you. Ah, that's yes. slang. Amazing. That's a slang. Naysayers. Yeah. That's a that's a new word for you, huh? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing Philippines. Oh, he's commenting on his own video of 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 his of the guest doing bush crap. Uh, Rod says. Thanks for inviting me, Dan. I really had a good time meeting you all, playing with the fire, and experiencing the province life. I was in a McDonald's a couple of days later in Todd Balearn, explaining to five people there what he was doing, probably. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks, Rod. Thank you. Road trip to McDonald's and then Sagby and Peak. Gerald D. Don. But most people, not believe people travel less than 20 miles in the Philippines. I don't quite understand that, but uh, for uh, actually McDonald's is only is only 20 is about 26 miles away from where we're at, which doesn't sound very far compared to something in America, but it's a 90 a 90 minute to a 2 hour drive, if you can believe that. It takes a long time. We went to the city yesterday and that's only about 60, 66 miles from our house. And it took three hours and 15 minutes to get there. And about, oh, we made good time coming back. We took a shortcut across the mountain, about two and a half hours to get home. So, <laughs> Ricky, was, Ricky was flying in the mountains, wasn't he? That was pretty good, yeah. Uh, but we travel here, we're lucky to travel at 60 kilometers per hour, which is only about 45 miles an hour so that's that's why it takes long to get anywhere and there's tons of construction and there's traffic and oh. carabaos on the road and dogs and chickens and people to watch out for and uh, it's an adventure driving here I'll tell you that question in the comments Yankee Teddy Bear hey I subscribed on my personal identity but now I'm reaching out to the expat community to say hi and hope to meet you soon with my own expat channel. I've lived there before and I'm heading back to the Philippines, I'm assuming. Well, get a hold of us when you get here and maybe we can do a video with you and get on your channel too, I guess. Something like that. Help you out. No problem. There's enough room for lots of, lots of channels out there, I would imagine. Sharon Kazula says, I'm wondering how you manage to upload a long videos on your channel despite your poor internet connection in the Philippines, especially in some rural areas. Areas, I do not, I, I do really respect and admire you, Dan, as, I don't, I don't know what it goes on, but thank you very much. Um, uploading a video is quite a challenge. I uploaded a video the other day, it was only five minutes long, and it took an hour and a half to upload it. And then later I got to a, another town and I uploaded I think it was I think it was about a 45 minute video and it took 3 hours. And that's sitting in a truck if you're lucky under a tree in the shade but it's you know it's 90 degrees sweating and it's hot and uh I you know I do what I can. And again, like I can say it's on a day like that, it's sucking up half my day just uploading a couple videos, and then I got to go home and I spend three or four hours reading comments. In fact, that day we had a hundred had 140 comments and emails, mm -hmm. so that that took me all the way till after dinner to go through all those. Um, let's see. But thank you though. Still finishing the hut one step at a time. Gerald D. Don says, "When you eat an elephant." It's a little bit at a time. Do you get that? That's a joke. No, that's kind of, it's like a it's like a it's like a a, a proverb kind of. Oh, see. What 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 what's your what's your thing in the Bible? You, when when proverbs. No, when no when when he when he says something that's supposed to mean something else. What do you call that? Um, parable. A par that's a parable. There you go. <laughs> yeah. When you when you eat an elephant, it's a little bit at a time. You can't just walk up to the elephant and eat the whole thing, can you? Mm. No. He's talking about the hut. you got to do a little bit at a time. Oh, yes. Yeah. Parable. That's probably what that is. That's probably a parable, yeah. Very good. Edward Annabelle says, Don't worry about the stupid comments. Murphy's English is good. 
<laughs> is good, and there will be always be people say how say crazy things. Yeah, I agree. Marfie's English is pretty good. She's got needs a little more confidence, a little more, a little more projection. Uh, I know my English, but I don't care about people. <laughs> people what? People say about. No, about your English. Words. What do you mean? You know your English is 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 not perfect. You mean? Oh, is that I know that. Oh, I oh. have. I'm struggling my English, but. Well, you're the one. You're the one that made it. We made a video because you you asked the question. Does, <laughs> does, can anybody understand me? So everybody's commenting back and forth on that. That oh. was that was your question. You, you're the one that created that monster. Ah, uh, okay. So. Thanks for the nice comment. Orvan1. I was talking about carp in the garden. Carp is a junk fish. And he says, born in New York City High School in Watertown, Wisconsin. Well, Watertown, Wisconsin, that's an interesting place. Um, yeah, carp, carp is kind of a junk fish where I come from in the Mississippi River. But if you ever had carp from... The water, when there's ice on top of it, where the carp's been in there for a while in the cold water, it's every bit as good as a piece of cod. It's absolutely fabulous. So, it's a it's a fish that we we commercially fish out of the, out of the Mississippi River, and it's all sent to ethnic areas in Chicago and Detroit, places like that. So, the black areas, they're, they're the people that like the carp. Let's see, more comments on comments. Or even one. I knew Shannon is a very smart little girl. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this one's from... From the Senor Pedro, Jerry P. I could just imagine the taste. That's what I call good eats. Charcoal plus chicken equals finger licking goodness to the bone. I'll eat the skin, the wings, and all the fleshy parts of that bird. Mm. Every bit of it's good though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Murphy likes that stuff. I feel hungry thinking about you, you're getting hungry already? Well, <laughs> maybe let's go out and kill a chicken in a minute. Mm. Why I came to the Philippines, what lured me, the, lured me there? Peter Beam. You got lucky to get a letter. Most of us men have to go on a date site. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd be going on any date sites. Regardless, myself, I would. If I wanted to get a girl in the Philippines, I'd come over here and I'd, I'd put a little bit of uh, foot time in here and spend a month over here and walk around and see who I could meet. That's what I would do. I wouldn't even waste my time on the internet. That's that's me personally. But uh, let's see more chicken. Penai, Penai, how do you say Penai? Penai, Tubo, Angie, and Dan. Nice little vlog. In Hawaii, we call that Huli Huli chicken, which means turn. Huli means turn. Not to be confused with Halo Halo, which means mix. Actually, it made me hungry. Have a nice day. Well, we have a drink here, Hallo Hallo. Yes. And that is kind of kind of mixed up ice and stuff, isn't it, and fruit. Mm -hmm. There we go. We learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. Huli Huli means turn. There we go. Cool. Mm -hmm. Unicorn Phantasm. Dan, there is no problem how you interact with Marfi and Shannon. The problem derives from the current state of relations in Western culture, pointedly political correctness, feminism, and other stuff like that. Thanks, Unicorn. Um, we really appreciate your comments. They're always always positive. Thank you. And uh, you, you, you've helped us a lot in the in the long run. Uh, we hope you're 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 feeling better. And they're uh -huh. they're in. You're, you're always in Marfi's on, on the prayer meetings and things like that, right? Mm, yes. Okay. Mm. Ah, uh, guess what's Rod, Panay, Tubo, Angie, and Dan. Hold that. I'm gonna don't, don't touch any buttons. There you go. Is it yeah, yeah, it's your turn. Yeah. Next video, then. Thanks for sharing the fireworks with Rod in person and the rest of us on YouTube. Yeah, it's my pleasure. I really enjoy showing people different things, making fires and primitive. Any primitive survival. I'm no expert by any means, but I, I really enjoy it. And, uh,.
I've been able to perfect some of the things, at least that, that we do here. And uh, it, it gets people going sometimes when they watch me do a, a, a bow drill fire and I get an ember in a fire just a, in a matter of a few seconds or minutes where they, they struggle and struggle and struggle, you know. But it's just, it's just practice is all it is. And, and uh, uh, we, 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 Marfie and I, we've even gone out and show, shown to people other ways to start fires and stuff. It's just kind of nice to show, teach things, you know. Mm. Spread the knowledge, right? Yes, I agree with that. You agree with that, huh? Good. <laughs> Angel Chan. Nice rod and then thanks nice videos. And that's about Rod's bushcraft video. Marfi living with a foreigner star story part three wrapping up a tail. Wish I could find a woman like Mara Fee. That's Peter Ben. Thank you. Come on over, Peter. I'm telling you, they're all over the place here. You just gotta get out and find one. You know, they're they're here. You you just gotta put some put some time in and find one. Uh, another Peter Ben. He's talking about. <laughs> I think he's talking about the chicken thief and the 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 trap we made. Some bamboo spikes would have done the trick. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to put bamboo spikes in the bottom of it too, but everybody else had a fit. I'm glad I didn't though, because the next day we caught Floyd, our pit bull. Yeah. And we probably would have killed Floyd, so Floyd was pretty cool. Chicken, on the chicken on the rotisserie, Dude Samora says 75 pesos is about $3.50. Well, it's a little over four dollars now at the exchange rate, but right, right around there though. Yep. Thank you. Um, let's see. Bushcraft with Rod from Chris Bartlett. Thank you, Dan. That was a great. It was great to learn that I tried to get my son to do that when we were back in Northern Cebu. Very good bushcraft to learn. If you don't have a striker, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Well, again, we don't we don't use the fire drill or the fire roll or any of that stuff. That's not really a, for survival. I mean, it's a survival skill. If you don't if you don't have anything else, you can start a fire with it. But for survival, for emergencies, or whatever, any anybody, I, I guarantee anybody that knows anything about anything will have a lighter with them, matches for sure. You know, probably have a couple different fire starters to make sure you can get a fire 100% of the time if it's needed. But we, we like doing the the bow drill and the other methods, the fire strikers. I really like the the, the flint and steel. That that makes me feel the most primitive, or, or the bow drill. Um, but it makes you it makes you think think back on the way things were done in the old days, and. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, give yourself a little challenge. But if you need a fire, we all, I always have a lighter and another lighter sitting somewhere else, so no matter what. Lord Colin Whitehorn says he put put up one of our videos on our vlogs on his Facebook. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, this is Colin. This is Colin in Thailand. Uh, That's it is. Uh, and thank you very much. The the more exposure we get, the better we're gonna do. My my throat's just on fire, hon. <coughs> Damn, it's getting worse and worse. That's from talking for sure, and not feeling very good. Questions and comments. Amazing Philippines again. I have observed many families in the U.S that looked ideal at first but over time you start seeing the anger and the problems my observation of your family on this channel and in person is that you have a pretty a pretty a pretty loving relationship i'm sure he's going to say you know yeah we got a pretty good we have marfi and i have our problems and stuff she she's always but she's always button heads with me about something you know That's or normal. or i don't i, I don't say the right thing her biggest problem with me is is when I'm around other people in, in town and stuff she doesn't like the way I do business with people and I think she's just too sensitive in fact I just rather not even go shopping or do anything with her in those kind of situations just take care of myself but uh, other than that other than that we get along pretty good as a rule 
Ups and downs, huh? Hills and valleys. That's cool. Let's see here. More questions, comments. On Rod. Myrna M. Miles. Wow, that's pretty cool, Rod. Rod will be an expert after a lot of practice. It's a nice video. Thanks for sharing and congratulations. You have more subscribers now and more subscribe. Cheers. Yeah, thank you very much again for the subscribers. We really appreciate it. And uh, it's just amazing how many how many people are, are watching the videos and stuff. And they must be enjoying it too because uh, a little bit because again we're we're looking at some statistics the other day. In the last 28 days, we had. Uh, one million one hundred thousand some minutes of viewing in the last 28 days. So that, that, that's a lot of people viewing. Um, there are, were a lot, a couple statistics that were kind of funny though. That the average time for people on the channel was under was around five minutes on the channel. So I don't. A lot of people just watch a little bit here and there, probably or something. I'm not sure how that went, but because um, a lot of the videos are long, you know, maybe maybe. They, Watch them and sell this isn't a, or a cup of tea and went on to something else. Mm. Hard to say, huh? Yes, no. Yeah. Marina M. Miles, nice and clean video as always. I enjoy watching it. Thanks for sharing. You know, I try not to swear on the videos. Every once in a while, a little word might slip out here or there. Um, if you would have been with, with Rod and I the other day when we went for a, a nature walk, uh, you would have heard some. Uh, I don't know what the word, what the word is. <laughs> Not so nice words. I walked into a hornet's nest, little tiny hornets. I got stung about 12 or 15 times on the arms, back, and the face. And uh, I voiced my uh, opinion for a couple seconds on that. And uh, Rod always carries a camera with him, but for some reason he didn't have it on at that time. I don't know why. So would have been actually would have been a pretty good video watching me dance around getting stung by wasps. It sucked. It sucked. It really sucked. Yeah, they're nasty little bastards. Um, roasted chicken. Delor Beliski says what? Nice video. Sure made me hungry. With a couple happy faces, huh? Myrna M. Miles. Yummy, I'm starving. Ha, ha, ha. Thanks for sharing. Another nice vlog. Okay. Uh, I kind of like the one there, uh, the roasted chicken. I, that's the first time I had a chance to get inside one as they're, as they're cooking and, and actually talk to a guy. Usually they're really busy uh, with people there. And uh, we're going to happen to be in a little, a little town, so uh, it was nice just to look at the machine and watch, it, watch them turn. And, uh... On. That's another chicken one. Mm. Lots and lots of chicken ones. King Portable says, She's not your mate. She's your life partner wife. You guys aren't animals. Oh, because mate, a mate is like a dog's mate or a lion's mate. <laughs> or whatever. Uh. Okay. Apples and oranges, I guess, huh? Mm. Will Cantwell, did you know that grass carp is the most widely consumed fish in the world? Most commonly, it would be steamed and the fish shredded from the tough rib cage and added to something like batter. No, I didn't know that, Will, but again, carp has some pretty nice white meat. Most people don't like it because it has big bones in it. You can't really fillet it. If you, you take the time and, and stake it out, especially out of cold waters, it's really good fish. Um, questions and comments. King Portable says, Solar is quite expensive in itself. It's like the price of an indoor swimming pool. It's more of an investment. Yeah, I agree. To, to us, it would be an investment. It would be an investment that would pay for itself in about four years, probably, of savings. And then after that, you still have a little maintenance. you got to buy batteries here and there. But I think it would cut down your cost about 80% after about four years. So 
Uh, our goal eventually is to somehow convert our refrigerator for sure over to solar and then uh, ha get the hut out here on solar power for during the day when we got a fan and stuff like that. Um, running the hut for this, the month of September cost us about an extra uh, 200 pesos, so an extra five dollars it costs us to run the hut this month. So that's not too bad. Puerto Rican in Ecuador AV says, what will it cost to make an extra room in your house? Um, to do an extra room in the house the right way, we want them to do a hollow block uh, addition. We really want to put on just a, a bedroom, probably a, a 14 by 14 uh, room would be just would be pretty good and then put a uh, well the other 14 foot of the house we'd put a, a screened in dining room probably mm -hmm. is probably what we'd make it <coughs> and uh, but it would probably run about I'm guessing nowadays with the price it'd probably run about five thousand dollars probably would be my guess uh, with blocks blocks are up to 14 pesos each now a bag of cement is 260 to 280 pesos uh, uh, Three, three cubics of sand is about eight or nine hundred pesos now, and the the the, the, the re reinforcing rods they're they're pretty pricey too, and then it's about five hundred pesos a day per laborer for labor, so it's getting more and more expensive to build. It's still much cheaper than American. We don't have all the problems with codes and stuff like that. There is codes here, but there's there's no enforcement or anything like that. Um, but probably five five to seven thousand dollars would be a rough estimate. But thanks for asking, though. More chicken from King Portable. Lee Chun. Is that right spelling? No, different spelling. What? <laughs> Why? You, you thought there was a camera closing? That's your, that's your phone making noise. Yeah. Take your call, yeah. <laughs> This is the real life, Murphy. This is what stuff happens, interruptions. Oh, you know, day. He said he says af after you've been there for a decade, you think you'd be able to master the language a little bit. I know the language is fine. Uh -huh. I don't I don't care to speak the language here. I can understand uh -huh. most of what's going on. You know, why would I why would I speak a language when everyone can speak English to me? It doesn't make any difference at all. You know, why don't you why don't you come here and learn it yourself and and, and see how you, see how you deal with it? It's 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 pretty tough. It's pretty tough to talk the way they talk, and it's pretty tough to listen to them. I can hear words here and there. I know I know hundreds of words. Okay. Okay. Is that good enough for you? I even have a, even have a I even have an English Visayan dictionary in my phone. Doesn't do much good. Plus, everybody speaks English, so there's no point. Um, Jovan Junior Mirsal, who's also in the Philippines, says, Good day, Dan. What kind of string are you using on your bow drill? I'm practicing making fire with a bow drill. Have a good day to you and your family. Um, I sent him back a, a message, an email, telling him on the small... On a small bow drill we have, run, just run out of juice or what? No, still not. Oh, the the small bow drill we have just a piece of paracord for the string, and for the big long Swedish uh, bow drill bow, we have a piece of black. It's almost like a clothesline uh, string. It's kind of a polyester blend. Uh, any any string will work, but you don't want it to be stretchy, and it's best if it's not real smooth. That's why the the clothesline works a lot better because it's 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 kind of a it looks kind of cottony, but it's not. It has a little texture to it. All right, we got here. Oh, you're back, huh? Oh, okay. I'm back. <laughs> got a lot of criticizing. People here criticize me about little things here. Uh, hi, Dan. When you refer to England English, can I remind you? That it's not England, it's the UK, as there are four nations make up one country. Thanks. Okay. Thanks for the information. Uh, it's always England to me. It'll always be England to me. If I want to talk about Ireland, I'll say Ireland. If I want to talk about Scotland, I'll say Scotland. 
what's the fourth? What's the fourth country? I don't. I don't know what that would be. What's the fourth country of Britain? I have no idea. But maybe some. May I get seventy-five emails? Tell me what the fourth country of the UK is. Portia Kolkin says, nice and loud. Marifi looks good in those distressed jeans. It's a big trend here in the U.S. right now. What's that mean? Jeans. I don't know. She's, con she's commenting about your jeans that are all tore up. <laughs> <laughs> it's called distressed. Uh, yeah, I think I think they look absolutely retarded. Nothing personal, but why would why would you want to wear jeans? You look like a hobo. I don't I don't I don't get that myself. Um, Portia Portia though, I think she I think she said no. I think I think Portia I think she sent a comment to Terrence's channel. She said something about isn't that Sh isn't that Shannon in one of those videos to Terrence, and uh, I think. I think Terrence's Terrence's what's Terrence's channel? A foreigner a foreigner living in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And uh I actually it's a foreigner in the Philippines, I believe what it is. Yes, that foreigner. Foreigner in the Philippines. He told me foreign living in the Philippines. Okay. Um if you get a chance, go to a foreigner in the Philippines. That's our friend Terrence. That's the video where we showed the bridge being built and one of his house. And uh Terrence is a pretty nice guy. Uh, he's a, a artist and an author, and built that entire house all by himself. He's got some real nice videos about the house. Uh, almost all his videos are about life up in the mountain where they live at. A uh, real, uh, real slice of uh, rural Philippine, the province life. And if you go watch him, please subscribe and uh, give him a chance. He's got some real nice stuff out there. There's our plug yeah, for Terrence yeah. today. Okay. Neville78 says, I wish I could find women in the U.S. with the fine qualities of the Philippine women I've seen on your channel. What do you think of that? Yeah, He's yeah. saying you guys are, are fine. There are lots right. of people fine too. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know, Neville. I, you must not be looking very hard. There's probably what? 25 million Filipinos in America, or more than that, probably. You know, probably 50 million Filipinos in America. Go to some place and, and, you know, start talking to people. You know, I, I don't, I don't recommend that. It, the, the lazy way of getting on the internet, doing stuff. Go out somewhere, and I don't know if you like Chicago has a little Manila. You know, uh, Madison, Wisconsin has a huge. Uh, Filipino population. All the, every one of the big cities has a whole bunch of Filipinos. Go to the area. Go hit a few mom and pop shops, and uh, you know, talk to people. Tell them what you're looking for. You know, tell them you you've been looking for a Filipino woman. You know, if you if there's anything, if you have anything to offer, you know, maybe you maybe you got a chance. I don't know. Yeah, or come here. You know, come here and take us. All right, we're back. We had battery malfunction, so we'll continue where we left off. Globe 255, who's all over the map here in her comments, but here, here we go. When people are blowing on the hay, which is dry grass, I don't understand why they don't try something, some different ways of blowing instead of monotonous way cause that would make it easier for them to find their own way okay well Rod was blowing on the fire he wasn't blowing up monotonously he was trying to get a fire going on there's not too many ways you can blow on a fire on a ember um, I was giving him some tips to, to blow up at it which is the easiest way you blow into it put it out arm's length so you can get a breath of fresh air, bring it back, blow into it. Or back. Mark Murphy did Murphy did comment that he had a little a little too close to his face, but uh, but but again that was the first that, that was that was our first try there. Um, when he started getting towards the end, it looked like he was running out of steam a little bit. I was I was trying to ask him, he out of air, but he just kept on going, so I wasn't gonna stop him. He he was gonna do it. 
I was going to suggest take the, the, the bundle of grass and, and swing it back and forth in the, in the air for a little bit, which, which will also do the same thing, uh, especially once you get it going like that, once you get white smoke. But there's, there's different ways to do it. But he did fantastic. I'll say that for him. Um, let's see, more chicken, let's see, roasted chicken. He's saying that, hi, actually native chickens are on those price range compared to the broiler chickens. The costs around 160 to 180. Native chickens are more tasty but difficult to raise and, they, and to grow. They grow very slow. Well, the going rate's 175 everywhere in Bohol right now for the broiler chickens. There's no such thing as a uh, leech and manuk native chicken here. It's all broilers. Uh, maybe other places, I don't know. Uh, I don't like native chickens because they're s real small and they're stringy. Because they're range chickens, they're running around. Broiler chickens much much tastier to eat, but everybody has their own opinion, I guess. Uh, yes. Enjoy. What, what are you mumbling about? <laughs> I'm picking the ones we're going to read here, hon. You don't need to read them. And I'll, I'll share them to you here. Um, a tour of our property. A couple people were talking about ram pumps again. Um, you have to have a flowing water source for a ram pump to work. They are fantastic. They pump a long ways, but you got to have some sort of water flowing to, to activate the pump. 